President Bolatinubu remains fully committed to issues of girl child education and gender empowerment and will promote the same in the policies and programs of the federal government under his watch, according to the Vice President, Senator Kashim Shetima. The Vice President stated this in his remarks when he was received on a courtesy visit to the presidential villa. A delegation from the United Nations led by the UN Deputy Secretary General and Chair of the United Nations Sustainable Development Group, Mrs. Amina Mohammed. She was accompanied on the visit by the co-founder Malala Fund, Ms. Malala Yousafzai, and other officials. Senator Shetty Marit reiterated President Tinubu's commitment to issues of education and empowerment of women, noting that President Bola Metinubu is fully and unequivocally committed to the girl-child education and gender empowerment initiatives. The vice president then commended the UNDSG and the co-founder of Malala Fund for their efforts in promoting girl-child education, among other initiatives. He assured the Malala Fund of the federal government partnership with the organization for the greater good of Nigeria. The anniversary of uh, Malala Day, which incidentally is today. And, uh, In separate remarks, the UNDSG Amina Mohammed and co-founder of Malala Fund, Malala Yousafzai, commended the federal government for their efforts in promoting goals four and five of the Sustainable Development Goals, observing progress in the areas of gender equity and education of girls across the country. Very lucky that I had the meeting with the vice president and uh, he gave us his time, he gave us his support and uh, our ask here in Nigeria is that government, all uh, states and um, all party members make a commitment to ensure that every child in Nigeria has access to a complete education which includes senior secondary education as well, that every child has access to a free and quality education and the second ask is to ensure that we make the full financial commitment to ensure that no child is left behind in this country. Amongst members of the delegation were the UN resident coordinator in Nigeria, Mr. Matthias Shekmel, and the executive director, UN Office of Partnership, Ms. Anemarie, the special assistant to DSG, Ms. Hadiza Elayo, the senior advisor to the resident coordinator, Mr. Frederick Eno, and co founder, Malala Fund, Mr. Zayuddin Yousafzai. Well, 10 years ago, Malala made her speech at the UN. She is the UN uh, peace messenger. Um, and this time she decided on her 10 year anniversary, she wanted really to make the advocacy for education here in this country. Uh, we have a large number of out of school children. Uh, we know that the quality of education is not what every child should have in this country. Um, and the advocacy to an administration that is coming in that believes in education is an important timing. Uh, so her voice, her inspiration, uh, not just to government, but to the rest of society, to governors that we met yesterday, uh, is extremely important as this administration begin, begins its journey of the next four years. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you.